This video lesson is about factorial notation. Okay, in symbol, ito siya, n factorial. It is read as n factorial. That n can be any number, any number, any whole number to be exact. Continuing. So let's try the following. So 4 times 3, okay, that's 12. 5 times 4, that's uh, times 3, that's 60. Now, 12 divided by 3 is all uh, is obviously 4. Pero pwede rin niyang isulat na 4 times 3 divided by 3. Canceling 3, that will also yield 4. Similarly, ang 60 pwede isulat ng 5 times 4 times 3. Pwede i-cancel yung 4. Then, uh, what you're left is 5 times 3, that's 15. Okay, that will be useful in the next uh, topic. Next, factorial notation is the product of successive counting numbers of n. Successive counting numbers of n. So, product, magmumultiply, successive, magkakasunod, counting numbers. So, you start with 1 onwards. Pero in this case, pababa kasi yung pagmumultiply sa kanya. So, in symbol, n factorial is equal to n times the quantity n minus 1, times the quantity n minus 2, so on and so forth, until you reach the least number, which is 1. So, for example, we will have the expanded and then the final answer. So, expanded, ang 3 factorial, ang ibig sabihin ay 3 times 2 times 1. At naturally, ang sagot doon, 6. For 4 factorial, that will be 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. Siyempre, sa 1 din siya mag end and that will be equal to 24. Now, what about 8 factorial? Siyempre sasabihin na mahaba. Pero pwedeng paikliin ang pagsusulat niya ng 8 times 7 times 6 times, then dot dot. Yung dot dot will represent all numbers in between 6 and 1. And that will cover 5, 4, 3, and 2. Pero titigil pa rin siya dapat sa 1. And naturally, the answer will be 40,320. Next. For calculator, pwede rin namang gamitin ang calculator, lalo yung mga scientific calculator. Pero dapat, hanapin muna yung may n factorial or x factorial na symbol para sigurado kayo na ma-execute -e nyo ng tama. So, pwede yan ganyan. This is one example only. Ibang itsura sa iba't ibang calculator. Pero ito, x factorial. Minsan kasi n factorial yan. Okay. At dahil nasa labas yung x factorial na symbol, gagamit ng shift na button. Paano? You press the number, then shift, then the factorial uh, button. So, paano nga ba tayo gagamit ng scientific calculator? Una, press 3, shift factorial, then lalabas yung sagot mismo, 6. Then, for 4 factorial, 4 shift factorial, Lalabas mismo yung sagot na 24. Then for 8 factorial, 8 shift factorial, lalabas mismo yung sagot na 40,320. Hindi na kailangan mag 8 times 7 times 6 times 5. Hindi na ganun ka haba yung gagawin. It's a matter of 2, 3 buttons lang, tapos na. So that's the advantage of knowing how to use your calculator properly. For number 4, we have 7 factorial divided by 5 factorial. So, kung i-expand natin si 7 factorial, ganyan siya kahaba. 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. Ganun din ang 5. Tapos, pwede na tayong mag-cancel. So, lahat ng similar terms can be cancelled. And what's left is 7 times 6, which is 42. Similarly, for 8 factorial divided by 6 factorial, Expanding both but canceling similar terms, 8 times 7 will be equal to 56. Next, for calculator, we will have 7 shift then factorial divided by 5 shift factorial. Then do not forget the enter or equal sign. Kasi pag hindi nyo pinresyon, ang lalabas lang doon sa calculator yung sagot sa huli, which is yun yung 5 factorial. And hindi naman lang yun yung kailangan nyo. Gusto nyo yung, um, yung quotient ng 7 factorial at saka 5 factorial. So, do not forget to press the enter or in some cases, uh, equal sign.
and it will result to 42. Next, that will be 8 shift factorial divided by 6 shift factorial, then enter. And it will look something like this. Next. For other uh, operations, kasi hindi naman lang division ang pwede sa factorial. Meron din na times, add, minus. And then uh, there's a more complicated example. So, pwede tayong sagutan mo na dapat yung 2 factorial at saka yung 3 factorial. So, ano yung 2 factorial? That's 2. Then times 6, that's 12. Four, 4 factorial is 24. Plus 6 factorial, which is 720, that's 744. Alam natin yung 6 factorial na 720 minus, ano nga ba ang 0 factorial? That's 1. So, the result is 719. For this case, um, ang pinakamagandang uh, gawin dito, humanap ng mag-partner. Mag-partner na yung isang number numerator, isang number, uh, isang number nasa numerator, yung kapartner naman niya, denominator. Okay? Dapat malapit lang sana sila sa isa't isa. So, pwede nyo namang pag-partner si 2 and 6, tsaka 8 and 4. Kaya lang masyadong mas malayo yung gap nila. Mas magandang pag-partner si 8 and 6 and then 2 and 4. And what do I mean? You expand first the higher number, which in this case is 8. Pero titigil dun sa lower number. Di ba ang kapartner na nga ni 8 si 6? So, titigil tayo sa 6 factorial. Then sa baba, just copy 6 factorial. Now, since mag-partner ay 2 at 4, so sulat muna natin si 2, then expanding 4, pero titigil tayo dun sa smaller number na kapartner niya, which is 2. Bakit? Kasi pwede na natin cancel yung lahat yan. Tingnan maigi kung meron pang pwedeng i-cancel. Meron pa, 8 and 4, and that will be 2. And what's left on the numerator is 2 times 7, which is 14, and sa denominator, which is 3. So, for a tip, expand the higher numbers until the smaller number. Now, for calculator, that will be 2 fact, uh, shift factorial times 3 shift factorial enter. Then, ganyan lalabas. Then, 4 shift factorial plus 6 shift factorial enter. Ganyan naman siya lalabas. Next. That's 6 shift factorial minus uh, 0 shift factorial, enter. Okay, 719. So, talagang ang 0 factorial ay 1. And for this case, kapag medyo komplikado na, hindi enough na i-type lang or i-encode lang siya as is. Uh, so, ano ba talaga ang gusto natin mangyari dito sa example na to? So, gusto muna natin i-multiply yung 8 factorial kay 2 factorial. Multiply din muna si 6 factorial kay 4 factorial. Then, yung sagot sa kanilang dalawa, yun yung i-divide. So, paano natin gagawin yun? So, gagamit na tayo ng grouping symbol. So, open parenthesis, 8 shift factorial times 2 shift factorial, close quantity, divided by open quantity, 6 shift factorial, times 4 shift factorial, close quantity, and then press enter. And then you will have 4.67 or 14 divided by 3. That's the same. All right. For... Example 10. So, again, maghahanap tayo na mag-partner. So, in this case, 10 and 6. Pero, i-expand yung mas malaking number. Pero, titigil kay smaller number. So, 10, 9, 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 times 6 factorial. Then, 6 factorial. Then, expand the remaining number. 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. Then, cancel 6. Then, para mas mabilis, i-cancel ko na ng sabay-sabay, 8, 4, and 2. Kasi 4 times 2 is 8. So, pwede na siyang makancel sa taas. Then, yung 9 and 3, that will give me 3. What remains on the numerator are 10 times 3 times 7, that's 210, divided by 1, which is 210 also. For number 11, so 12 times 11 factorial divided by 11 factorial times 1 factorial, makakancel. Alam natin na yung 1 factorial ay 1. So the answer will be 12. So tip, 
Use grouping symbols when using calculator. Paano nga ba dapat? So, dapat 10 shift factorial divided by open quantity 6 shift factorial times 4 shift factorial. Close quantity. Then enter. 210. And then, for 11, that's 12 shift factorial factorial divided by open quantity 11 shift factorial times 1 shift factorial close quantity and then enter and that will give us 12 okay i guess that's it thank you